not sure why I subject myself to that madness and torture that early in the morning, 5 a.m. at 45 class, and it was a cardio-based class, and I was the only one that showed up this morning, so I definitely got some one-on-one -on -one attention from coach, and I died. I can't really tell in this lighting, but my face is like beet red. It is flushed, but flushed. It is right before six o'clock. Cody's having a jam sesh in the background. He's getting ready for work in the shower, and I'm about to make some coffee, have a little bit of downtime, have a little bit of Jesus, because I need some Jesus in my life after that workout that just kicked my butt. Good morning. A few moments later. I basically just spent an hour and a half on the couch with Slater. Just enjoy some peace and tranquility and some God time, some quiet time. And it's 7.30 and I'm about to make some breakfast. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I am working from home today. So I'm already ready for work. I'm dressed in my comfy clothes. I'm in a t-shirt in my pajamas. The best kind of a work tire there is. I'm just about to make some breakfast before I log in at 8. I'm thinking about doing some protein waffles. I'm going to make my greens drink. I've already finished my coffee. And we're going to get the morning started. I think I'm just going to do a serving and a half of my favorite protein waffles or pancakes by this crisp by this brand. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this brand, I love this brand of protein waffles. So I'm going to do a serving and a half, which is going to be a little over 90 grams. I didn't eat right away after my workout this morning because it was very intense. They had a brand new workout this morning and it was cardio based and the cardio workout already kicked my butt, but this one was really hard. <laughs> so I've been like recovering for the past hour and a half. I'm also going to add in an egg for some added proteins and fats and then I'm just going to use water to mix it up with. And while the waffle maker is finishing preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and make my greens drink. So y'all already know, but just for a refresher, I like to do a splash of orange juice, about two tablespoons of some apple cider vinegar. I put a serving of first form collagen in there. And then I do a serving of the reds and the greens. I mix it all together with a little bit of water added in there. And that's gonna be my greens drink. Now this is the work from home setup I got going on right here. I've got my main laptop and I've got another screen that I have hooked up because I definitely need double screens at minimum. And then over here, I've got my other laptop that I'm supposed to have. The insurance company that I'm contracted with, this is specifically their computers that they sent to us. Basically, I only use this to access their insurance claims um, for different members to look at like members plans and what all they've had filled and whatnot under their particular plan. Um, so that's why I have this computer. I won't always have to use this, but when I do, I just have it off to the side because I don't have the best setup right now. Our office is rarely used. It's so messy right now. Um, but this is my main desk and this is Cody's desk. But I haven't gotten in here and like cleaned up and organized and really gotten a setup that is efficient for my kind of work from home job. So I'm definitely gonna have to come in here and do that some other time. But for now, this works. It, I, it does just fine. I did this the other day when I worked from home for the first time and it was lovely. And look, I even got my space heater set up just the way I like it. In my PJs, in my slippers. Like, you can't get any better than this. So just looking at the queue for today, there's really not a whole lot in there to work. Um, there's probably only about like 20, 25 in there right now, but that's how it was even last week before Christmas Eve. So obviously this is when it's super slow. We're in a super slow quarter of a time. This is like the slowest is around the holidays, but it's about to really ramp up and really pick up at the beginning of the year. So this is kind of like the last week of it just being easy going, but there's really not like a whole lot of orders in here for me to work on. So, which is nice. I'm working from home today again, because because I can just kind of check on the queue and just check in and out throughout the day. I think there's also probably like six other pharmacists that are in there too. So people are, are, are actively working in there um, at all times. So it's nice because now I can just do things around the house 
and just check in in and out of the queue. There's also another insurance plan that I'm working on and kind of training in, so I'll also work on that uh, and not just the one that I'm contracted with. I'm actually cross-training on two different insurer plans, so... But anyways, but yeah, it's probably going to be a pretty slow morning, but what a blessing it is to be able to work from home in my PJs with my space heater with Slater all day. This is so nice. And Cody's at work all day, so I don't have any distractions while I try to work. But yeah, the plan is I'll work from 8 to 5, but again, it's pretty easy going. Like, this is the life, I'm telling you. Who just thought that I could be a pharmacist and do my job, my career, from from the comfort and luxury of my home. I mean, it just can't get any better than that. <laughs> like, I can't stop thanking God enough. Like, thank you so much. So much. Just forever grateful, for real. Okay, well, I'm gonna get in here. Um, I've got some I've got some people popping in and messaging me, so I'm gonna get in here, try to work a few, and just have a good morning. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna be a great day. Look at this guy. Are you loving mommy being home? Working from home today so she could be with you. Sweet boy. You being lazy? You sitting here enjoying the Christmas tree? Yes, I still have all my decorations up still. But I get Cody to get the boxes down from the attic so I can start taking everything down. So I just haven't done that yet. And usually I am someone who has all this put up before the New Year's, but we just haven't done it yet. But I'm coming in here to cut on some background music so i can have some background noise while i'm working i enjoy that let's do a little cozy acoustic morning music that sounds good Okay, it is 12 o'clock now, and I didn't even eat a mid-morning snack. I wasn't really hungry, but those waffles definitely filled me up this morning, but I've just been working nonstop. Not so much on patient claims or work orders that we have going on, because like I said, there's not hardly any in the queue. Like I think there's only like 10 right now, and like I said, there's other pharmacists, other seasoned, more experienced pharmacists that are still working in there as well. So I've just been dabbling a little here and there, keeping up with that, just kind of reviewing, looking at some history, looking at some past orders just to kind of, you know, still learn and study of how people deny or approve certain claims and just kind of look behind them on that. Um, but also I've been doing a lot of just wedding stuff that I haven't really tackled yet. So I've just been doing some research and just doing some little things here and there, checking some emails and whatnot. So I've been busy. Um, like I said, it's already 12 o'clock. I haven't really gotten up uh, much at all, but around this time I would normally take my lunch break, which I'm just gonna right now just eat like a small snack, probably some apples and some peanut butter. And then I think I'm going to go for a walk with Slater outside. So that's what's nice about working from home is I can take my lunch break to go on a walk because since now I work a more consistent schedule of eight to five every day, I don't have the opportunity to go on outside walks with Slater as much as I did. Cause when I worked at Walgreens and I closed, you know, in the evenings, I had a good bit of days during the week that I was still home during that period of time where I could go for a walk with Slater or if I got off in time, it was still light outside where I could go for a walk. And you know, right now, since it's in the winter time here in the south, uh, it gets dark at like 4.30. So when I get home, it's definitely past dark and it's just freezing and it's just not a good time to go for a walk. You know what I'm saying? Just going to grab a jar of my favorite peanut butter by Peanut Butter and Company, the white chocolate wonderful. And then I have a half of an apple in the refrigerator, which I'm going to eat that really quick and then get dressed. Go for a small, a short walk, which later probably like 30 minutes, just to get some outside fresh air. It's not the prettiest day outside. It's actually kind of gloomy, but it's kind of mild weather. I think it's like in the high 50s, low 60s right now. Um, but just to get some fresh air, to kind of give my eyes a break from looking at the computer nonstop. I know we have a team meeting at like 1.30, so I'll be back in time before then. So we just got done with our walk. It was about a 30 minute walk. 
and I just put on a podcast and start listening to that. And then I was just listening to a podcast. It was a nice little break for us to get out of the house, a nice little breather. But yeah, it's really nice that, especially on days where I get to work from home, I can just, you know, take my break and go for a walk and get some intentional steps in because obviously now, like, I went from a job that was nonstop on my feet, constant movement, very physical job, or for eight hours plus straight to now eight hours of basically just sitting at a desk. So I have to be more intentional with my movement and my steps and cardio. So with that being said, I've also incorporated more steady state cardio in my workouts now just to make sure I'm getting enough movement. But at least with this job, I can pretty much choose how much I want to sit or move around. You know, like I'm not just confined to only running around, sitting on my feet all day with zero breaks like I was previously. So that's what's nice. But just something to note is now I've got to be more intentional with my everyday activity and movement. Today was really nice to get a little walk in with Slater Mayner. Really nice. So um, I'm just going to clean up some in the kitchen. I didn't clean my dishes from this morning, which is very unlike me, but I kind of got rushed this morning between filming and trying to log in. And then we have a meeting at 1.30, so... I guess I'll just check in with y'all probably when I eat again because I don't I haven't decided if I'm going to eat like an actual lunch. I might make like a small salad or something like that, but I don't have any protein to go in it. So I might have to just like boil an egg or something because I, I ended up eating the entire turkey breast that I cooked last night for me and Cody. I ate my entire breast instead of eating half and saving half for today. So I don't really have like a protein source to add to the salad uh, other than like a couple of boiled eggs or something like that. So, but we shall see and i'll just check in with y'all here in a few all right it's almost 1 30 so i decided to go ahead and make my salad i did go ahead and decide just to boil two eggs so i put two eggs in the air fryer and typically it wouldn't be my choice of protein to put on the salad but it's all i have so it is what it is this is just some mixed greens i have in here i have a chopped up cucumber some walnuts and some goat cheese a little bit of salt and pepper on there and then i have a homemade strawberry vinaigrette that i'm going to pour on top it's that time of the day again it's a little after three and i've hit that afternoon slump where i need a little pick me up whether that comes in the form of another snack or caffeine and so we're going to do both today i'm just going to make me a coffee protein shake using of course first form level one protein powder this is in the flavor caramel latte this has been my go-to flavor lately it's so delicious i'm almost out and need to get me some more and then for my liquids i'm going to use this silk protein this is the unsweet vanilla this is the almond and cashew milk mix and then i have a starbucks cold brew coffee and so typically i fill up a glass for about eight ounces of liquid eight to nine ounces so i'll do about four ounces of coffee and four ounces of the milk i might do five ounces of coffee let's do five ounces of coffee ish you know i need to get my scale for this i may be good but sometimes i'm not that good so I'm just going to zero out my scale. I'm going to move y'all down so you can see. i got my scale down here. I'm just going to zero it out to fluid ounces. I have a little bit in there already, but that's okay. So we're going to do five ounces of coffee. There we go. And then about another three ounces of this almond milk. And a scoop of protein. I like to take my Aero Latte mixer because it makes mixing things so much more homogenous but creamy at the same time. So this is the best way to mix it. First one's protein mixes really well. It probably mixes the best of any protein powder that I've ever used in the past. So you really don't even need a mixer like this. But again, I just like the texture and the consistency that it does give. So I recommend using something like this to mix your protein shake with if you're not going to be using a shaker. And for those of you all have been around for a long time, you know I hate using a shaker. Whatever reason, I don't know why. I just don't know why. I just hate cleaning a shaker. So if we can avoid using a shaker at all costs, we're going to do that. So I'm mix this up, and then I'm going to have a treat to go along with it. So 
I've got these in a little baggie. These are actually from Flex Pro Meal, so the meal prep company that I work with now. Um, I always have their information and a discount code in the description box down below. So these are their power packed protein treats, which are so stinking delicious. They're made with like a peanut butter base, so if you love peanut butter, you'll definitely love these. If you're not a huge peanut butter fan, you may not like these, but I would still recommend giving them a try. They're just like the perfect size. They're not too big where they break the macro bank, but they're not too small where it just leaves you as like a big tease. And I love to keep these in the refrigerator because I like it. I like them as a cold treat, but you can definitely keep these in the microwave for a little bit to make it more of a warm gooey treat. But I definitely recommend eating these cold. I think that's the best way to eat them. So I think I'm going to have, let's have the M&M one, which is down here. All right, I'm going to drink my shake and then I have me a little Flex Pro treat. And I'm going to continue working at my desk. So I just signed off. It's almost 5 o'clock. I went ahead and signed off. Basically the queue is completely cleared out. So I just went ahead and signed off. So I can come in here and enjoy my Christmas tree. And cuddle with Slate on the couch. Look at him all snugly down there. So I'm just about to sit down. Just kind of chill for a little bit. And, but yeah, that was pretty much my day. I already got back in, in my PJs. That's basically what an at-home work day looks like for me now. Completely different work day compared to what I was doing. I mean, just a day and night's difference in the best way possible. Like, I know I just keep saying it, but seriously, it is a blessing. It is just like a dream to be able to do this, to be able to do my career as a pharmacist from the luxury and comfort at home. Like, it's so nice. I just, I'm so, so blessed and so fortunate. But I'm just gonna chill, so probably next time I check in will be supper time. Yeah, I don't really have anything else going on, so probably in a few hours we'll make something for supper. So we will check in with y'all in a little bit. Okay, it's 6.45 and I'm cooking up some dinner right now. I was going to have a Flex Pro meal, but then I remembered I had some leftover camp stew that my mama had made for me, homemade. So I've got that cooking on the stove and that's what I'm going to eat tonight for dinner with a little bit of saltine cracker. So that's going to be my dinner and probably the last thing I eat for the night. I'm going to try to start editing this video right away because this is the end of my day, the end of my work from home day. But I want to go ahead and start trying to edit this because tomorrow is New Year's Eve day. And so we're going to be traveling out of town, going to a friend's house to a New Year's Eve gathering and party. And then I think we're going to be gone all weekend because I think we're kind of making it like a road trip to go visit some other friends along the way. So I probably won't be home until Sunday evening. And I really would like to have this up before the New Year, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But either way, I'm going to try to start editing, editing the video tonight. So I can have it up as soon as I can. That's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little bit of an insight of what my new workday norm is for me now. Even though I don't always work from home, I do have the option to work from home whenever I want. So who knows, I might come up with more of like a structured or kind of set schedule where I go into the office maybe Monday through Wednesday and then maybe work from home Thursday through Friday. I don't know, it just depends because I know the beginning of the year is about to be super busy and crazy for us at least that's what i'm told so i can only imagine because i know how it was in retail pharmacy so i am anticipating the amount of work to really increase and for it to get a lot more serious and more stressful i guess if you will but i just can't imagine anything being any worse than what i was going through when i was in retail so either way once again i'm very blessed i'm grateful i'm thankful to be in this position where i am right now and just so excited. Thank you so much for joining me today on my work day at home. Can you say bye to the video? <laughs> With that, I hope everyone is enjoying the holidays and wishing everyone a happy new year. Hopefully 2021 is going to be better than 2020. But that's also up to you and how your mindset is, how you approach it, how you respond to whatever obstacles are thrown your way. We can do this. We can make this. All right. So until next time, I will see you all next time. And happy new year, y'all. Bye-bye.